Hi guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of looking at a camouflage uniform, we're going to be comparing two different pieces of gear. If you happen to like this type of content, let me know and I can make more videos reviewing different pieces of gear in my collection. Now, in front of you, you'll see two folding shovels and the one on the right is from East Germany. The one on the left is from West Germany. These shovels are about 20 years apart in age. The one on the left was made in 1966 and the one on the right was made in the late 80s for the UTV era. Now, in that period of time, um, by the 80s, the West German Army was using a different type of shovel. They were using a trifold shovel, so the actual shovel itself and the handle would fold up, but um, the West German Army was still using this. And in the 60s, I believe the East German Army was still using the fixed spade with like a square head, um, but yeah, so in the 60s, I believe they transitioned to like a folding type of shovel and it was a little different. It was a little bit longer than this and it didn't have the saw blade. Unfortunately, I don't have that type to compare, but we just have these two and that's what we're going to we're going to do. So right off the bat, to contrast the two, the one on the left, you know, a little bit longer handle than the one on the right, but we're going to take a closer look. So another obvious difference, the color, the one on the right is black and I think most East German shovels were painted black. The one on the left here is green, but quite a bit has been faded away over time as this has seen fairly heavy use. Another interesting little tidbit, uh, Miltec makes reproductions of these, these shovels, so that's just something kind of fun to know. But this is an original. As you can see, there's stampings on the shovel indicating 1966 is the year of production. Got a little guy here and some other information. And the stamping on here just says made in GDR. Okay, and the other difference is that we can see is that this has this, you know, sharp, jagged edge, and it's like a three dimension. You can hold more dirt here versus this is a lot, you know, flatter. The mechanism for folding the shovel on this, you have to push this little button in like that. Once you push it in, you can move it like this, and you can, you know, just really shape it how you want it. So if you want the pick like that, you can have it like that. That's another difference. This one has this little pick. This one does not. You want the pick, just put it in here and then have it kind of like that. And then in order to lock it, you have to make sure this is like midways through both. Then you can, you know, use it like that if you want. So yeah, again, just push in this button. Oh, sorry, the other one. This circular one right here, like that. And then you can really just shape them. But yeah, we're gonna put the shovel back out. Okay, sometimes it can get a little stuck. You just gotta really kind of force it. <clears throat> yeah, oh, there we go. And then yeah, fold it out like that. And it got stuck a little bit again. Another note, you can unscrew this and then this, the uh, spring comes out. But for the mechanism here on the right, what we have instead is this, you just unscrew this. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes this can get a little stuck. But I'd, in general, I'd say this is far easier to undo. And then it's just very loose like that. So this I'd say is the easier mechanism, but this is also the later uh, production. This is probably, you could put a nail and hold that on the wall or something like that. But yeah, pretty cool. And as for the shovel covers that came with these, this one has a leather one, but I don't have that. And this one has a strict tarn cover uh, with like, um, you know, little loops. You can put it on the UTV belt. I'll make another video on all the UTV equipment and how that was used. But yeah. Thanks for having a quick look at these two different pieces of Cold War history. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this brief video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day.